Hey folks, Reno here. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of really into movie cameras and stuff and I make uh, quite a few of them for my Second Life Marketplace and I, I always ran into an issue with making tripods. Let me show you this latest one that I've put up here. It's a Aeroflex movie camera and I actually made this one with a tripod and I tried two or three different ways to make a tripod and I always ran into problems because once I got the tripod I like used the spin tool like uh, duplicated them copied them pasted them and I just never could get them exactly centered up right and also if I needed to edit one of the legs I would want all of the legs to be edited not just the one leg so I'm going to show you how I did a tripod I found an easier way to do it that made a lot of sense uh, first I'm gonna start with I'm gonna add a cube uh, where is it at cube and I'm gonna scale it down with the S key and then I'm gonna scale it up and this is going to be like one leg and I want to get into the front view of it and it's it's centered everything it's centered everywhere I'm going to get rid of this reference figure and this red line is kind of going to be like a floor reference and I'm going to copy this one duplicate it shift D oops and we'll just move it up because this will be kind of a reference to our very center and I'm going to take the leg here move it out move it up to like the floor level and I'm going to rotate it at about the angle I need the leg at and that's good there and we're going to it's going to connect to this center piece here so I'm going to move it over here a bit now I'm going to move this out of the way a bit now this is the way I was this is the way the easier way to, I can go ahead and just make the tripod and then go and edit it later and every piece will be edited together First of all, we want to apply all our transformations so we get our center right here. So all we have to do is go to Object, Apply, All Transforms. And then once we're done with that, deselect it and we will add a empty object, which is right here. Empty, Plane Axis and it's going to the very center of the floor there. Now we'll select the leg and then we'll add a modifier called an array modifier. Add modifier and it is then the second column here, the first one. And it put another, we want three legs so I'm going to change our count to three. And we want it to rotate around this axis so they'll all be kind of even looking. So I'm going to change the factor here to zero. And that kind of puts all of our three legs into this one leg. Now we go to the con object offset here. Select that and then we'll take our dropper tool and we want our leg to rotate around this empty we put here. So we'll take the dropper tool, select the empty, and now if we select the object, we can rotate it. And you see there we've got three legs now. Now I'm no mathematician, so what I basically do is go to the very top and get it as close as I can to look like a tripod from the top and then I'll see what my Z axis is and I'll just 
make it a whole number. So it's 122 right now. I'm just going to change it to 120. That's better. Now since we have all of our pieces, all, or all of our legs rather, go into the edit mode. And it's we're going to be editing this one here and it and it's off-centered so if we do something like this it's going to be kind of weird so we need to change this down here to global to we need to change it to normal and that way if we move it you see we've got a a better uh, angle there now we can go to editing our leg First of all, I'm going to just make the, I'm going to extrude this out with the E key and scale it with the S key. And as you notice, it changed every, all of our legs. That's exactly what I was wanting to do. So that worked out fine. And let's add, let's do a loop cut there and then we'll move this up to there and we will select all these faces here and we'll, ex we'll extrude them out hit the alt key and it'll select them all there and then I'm going to go into mesh extrude extrude along normals and then there we go and then we can make a I'm not sure what you call these things but the middle of the tripod I'll just hit my I key and move that and then we'll extrude this the same way hitting the E key and you see that puts that in the center now we can go back to our center reference piece and move it down and we can scale it to whatever size we need it that's an easier way to make a tripod and then edit it later instead of having just to edit uh, individual legs you just edit one legs and it takes to the other legs anyway thanks for watching guys see you soon